Hi everyone! So I've been working on trying to improve the sound of my videos. The mic on the iPhone is great, but it has a couple of issues. One, it can't differentiate between the area noise and the sound I'm actually trying to record. And two, is I especially have problem with too much room reverb when I need to record further back, as I usually do for demoing instruments or recording music examples. So I've ordered a couple of different mics that I've been using and trying things out. And so today I thought I'd do an actual comparison between the iPhone mic and the Smart Mic Di Mini and also the Zoom IQ7. And both of these mics plug directly into the phone. So you don't need any extra power. They take the power power directly from the phone. I wanted to do this because I thought this was a much easier way for setup that makes it more portable and I don't have to go into extra gear and gadgets yet. And I wanted to keep things easy and portable. So this one is also supposed to plug directly into the phone. However, um, I have an extra thick big case and I love my case and I want to keep using it. So as is, it doesn't fit. It does have this little bumper for people who have cases on phones that aren't extra thick, but yes, it still won't, it won't, still won't work. So if you have an extra thick one, then you have to order a little extender. Okay, and so here's the package that I got two of them off of Amazon for like 10 bucks. They're easy, I'll, I'll add uh, something in there in the, uh, at the end for that. All right, and so it's very, this thing is very light, super light. My husband's worried that it'd be too heavy. It wouldn't be able to hang on the end, but it does just fine. Plugs in, hangs there, moves around, stays on my stand just well. So not having any problems. So with this one, you just move it and adjust it however you want. Okay, towards, and it only goes up and down. That's it, one way. It doesn't go side to side. It just goes up and down. This one does move in a variety of ways and you can twist it. The main thing for music is it has this thing here on the side and you want the arrow to point towards the direction of what you're trying to record. So I usually uh, recording face so I can see what's going on. I tried doing it the other way, but it was just a pain. I had to keep getting up. I couldn't see if things were recording or not. I couldn't see if things got moved out of frame. So I just finally gave up and went back to recording it from the phone. And so I have it recording towards me. But if you're recording behind you, then you would unplug this and, and plug it the other way so it could be recording out. And so this one also is set so it can record in front and also pick up uh, external side things. All right, and it has, it has a setting on the back and it has an app so you can use the app if you, if you're looking at it directly and it's facing towards you because you're 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 recording away from you, then you can look at the dial and 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 the readings. There's readings here, and it'll light up, and you can see if it's in uh, red or green or or orange. But if if not, then you can use the app, and that's what I've been using. I just do test. I use the app to very quickly test my levels and make sure that my levels are good, and then turn off the app and just record from the phone because then it, it's easy for me to to you know add and subtract videos or move them or check on them or things like that um, without having to go through another source all right so what i'm going to do oh yes what i wanted to say next was that they do both come with windscreens but i'm not going to use those in the house but i did want you to know that that, that they do come with that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up on the iPhone and I'm going to do different tests close and far with talking and also with some music uh, with comparing the difference between the phone and the two different uh, mics so that we can hear the difference between the three. And you can judge for yourselves what sounds better and what improves. And if there's certain situations where maybe this mic works better than this one. All right, here we go. Okay, so it occurred to me that you might actually want to see the light. So here we go. I've, I've set it up so you can see it. So here, here it is from here. It's green. And now I've got it in the middle. And if I get really loud, now it lights up so you can see that what, the, what those lights look like. 
Okay, so here's my handy ruler. I am one foot away from the phone. This is what the iPhone mic sounds like. I am still one foot away from the phone, and this is what the smart mic sounds like. Okay, I'm still one foot away from the phone, and this is what the Zoom IQ7 sounds like. Okay, so here's my handy yardstick. I am three feet from the phone. This is what the iPhone mic sounds like. I'm still three feet from the phone, and this is the smart mic. I'm still three feet from the phone, and this is the Zoom IQ7. Okay, I'm now six feet across the room from the camera, and this is the iPhone mic. I'm six feet away, and this is the smart mic. Six feet across the room, and this is the Zoom IQ. Okay, so did you hear any differences yet? I'm, I'm curious to know what you think. Let's move into the other room now and try it with a guitar. Okay, so I'm now in the front room of the music studio. And so now I've got the guitars about a foot away from the mic. Let's just see what they both sound like here with the iPhone mic. Okay, same idea with the smart mic. IQ7. Okay, so now the guitar is about three feet away, and this is the iPhone mic. Now with the smart mic. Okay, and I'm three feet away with the Zoom IQ7. Okay, so this is six feet away with the smart mic. six feet away with the IQ7. So as I was going through the recordings, I realized that there was the staticky noise whenever I used the IQ7, and I had forgotten that you need to put it in airplane mode when using the IQ7. I did, in fact, forgot so much that I had to go look it up again. What was there was a, a noise setting. So in order to not have that little static noise to have the, as clean a sound as, as ever, you need to put it on airplane mode. All right, so I'm gonna record this again, six feet away, yeah, with the IQ7. So going back through the videos and watching and listening carefully to them, I did think that the IQ7 was an improvement over the iPhone mic, especially when you did get the um, number set correctly. It's still a little hard for me to figure out which number it is, but um, you know, some of that you can raise and post. But 
I am concerned about that little bit of staticky noise, which I'm not able to get out. And so if I'm not able to fix that, I'm not sure that that's an improvement either. Uh, I was hoping I wouldn't have to move on to a more expensive solution. Um, but yeah, um, I'm not so sure. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Did you like a particular mic best? Or did you think that one was better for close, one was better for middle, one was better for further away? Did you have any advice for me? Maybe, maybe there's just something I can do to make the static thing go away. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Good luck and take care.